Hi everyone and welcome to today's Flutter tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to create a navigation drawer using Flutter. We're going to code it from scratch from the very beginning. I'm going to be showing you every single piece of code that you need and I'm sure after this video you have the right knowledge to create navigation drawers using Flutter. I'm going to be I'm going to make it very simple for each one in the easiest way that anyone can understand. All right, let's get into today's video. Alright, so we're going to start our project from scratch. So this is the main dot page. So inside the material app, we're going to add the home. Then we're going to add scaffold. Then right inside scaffold, we're going to add the up bar. So just type in, just type in up bar. And then we're going to have the properties of up bar. So we're going to uh, add the title. So we're going to have the title and we're going to make the title. We're going to add text inside the title. We're going to make navigation drawer up. All right, so then you can click save and there we go. We have it. So it's actually displaying some. So I want to remove All that. Right. So next one, I remove that banner up there. So we're just going to go on top of the scaffold. So just or not below here. We're just going to go on top of the scaffold. Then I'm going to type in the words. Uh, All right, let's face that. Then we're going to type in the words debug. Inside us, we're going to type it debug. Then show checked banner. Then I'm going to set that to false. Alright, so when I set that first, I can click save. It will do a hot reload and uh, let's see. So I can see that the banner has actually disappeared and that's actually what we want. Alright, so next one, I set some properties for a navigation bar. I want to see if we can change that blue color on the up bar into a different color. And good enough, we can. So we're going to first space uh, so that we can create more room by clicking on a comma. Alright, uh -huh. so there we go. So I'm going to type in background color. Then I'm going to type in colors with capital C. Colors dot dot pink so we're gonna set that pink and then i'll click save for a whole tree load and all right so it has actually worked just as we actually wanted so right after the upper we're gonna add the body so just go outside that then we're gonna add the body inside the body we want to add text so we're gonna type in capital t ext so let's make sure the text no let's change that to main page okay and uh, there we go so we're gonna refractor and we're gonna set to center so that we actually have it centered and then we're gonna set constant so that we actually remove that blue error so next we're gonna add some properties so we're gonna set style text style then we're gonna add the font size we're gonna increase the font size to 40 okay and there we go we have it it's actually working just as we wanted all right so next for good practice we're gonna create another page for the nav bar so we're just gonna go into the lib folder here then we're gonna right click Right click and then we're gonna create new file. Then we're gonna call it navbar small n v a v navbar.dart. Call it a dart file. Alright, and there we go, there we have it. Alright, so first thing in this new file, we're gonna import material.dart. So just import package. Then we're gonna type uh, flutter. Type in flutter. Then we're gonna type in material, stroke material dart. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we're going to add a stateless widget by typing STL, then we click enter, then we're going to rename it to navbar, then inside the inside the container, we're going to change this to draw. So let's change this word container to draw. And there we go, so that's going to allow us to create the navbar. Alright, so go back to your main data file, then we're going to scroll to the very top, then we're going to import that other page. So we're going to import, alright, so click import, then we're going to type in package, then uh, columns and I'm going to type in flutter up flutter underscore up all right flutter underscore up then I'm going to import navbar dot dot so that's the file that we actually are going to all right so then go to your scaffold on your main dot page then inside scaffold we're going to create the drawer so inside you're going to type in the words drawer then we're going to type in the word uh, all right so we have navbar with the capital N, capital B, as you can see there. So we're gonna import it the way you see. So we're gonna type in draw, then we're gonna type in N nav bar, N A V B A R. Then we're gonna close it with bracket, comma. All right, so there we go. So that should actually uh, import it. So we're gonna save to have a hot reload. All right, so this may not work for some. So if, if you click on save and it doesn't actually work, so just gonna start debugging to build up from 
scratch so that will actually solve the problem so you're gonna go and click start debugging that will actually open launch the app from scratch again and that should actually work and there we go as you can see there is a menu that actually appears on the corner when i click on it you can actually see an empty drawer and that's actually a sign that it's actually working so it's an empty drawer whenever you click on that menu icon right so we're actually done with the main that page so we're just gonna go back to the navbar page and then right here is where we're gonna do some properties okay all right so inside the draw we're gonna create a list a child so inside the child the child is gonna be list view so we're gonna click bracket so inside there we're gonna create some children so they're actually gonna be children to the list view so inside the children the first child is gonna be user account all right so just type in the word user and you'll see user account drawer header and then we have properties account name and then we have account email so we're gonna change those values so we're gonna change the all right so we're gonna add in text for user account name, we're gonna type in text so we're gonna add george McAllister. george McAllister will actually be the name so inside the email part we're gonna add text also we're gonna call that george McAllister at gmail.com okay and that's actually what we actually want so next actually I want to refactor this so to actually have them on separate lines so we're gonna just type in a comma right there okay so we're gonna click format and then there we go so we have everything on the new line all right and so that's actually what we wanted so we're gonna create constant so that we actually remove those blue error lines okay and that should actually okay it will work but we'll just all right so next we're gonna create a hot reload by clicking ctrl s and as you can see the text actually appears right there so next we're just gonna go and add a profile picture we're gonna add current account picture so next we're gonna add in a circle so inside there we're gonna have a child and the child is gonna be inside so we're gonna type in the child so we're gonna clip it so inside there we have actually have images we're gonna insert an image so actually have images in image folder that actually created so we're gonna add insert our image so we're gonna type in image asset so uh we're gonna type images stroke profile dot jpg so the image is structure right here that actually created a folder for it so we're gonna insert it and as you can see it actually appears okay and uh it actually works properly so that's the circle avatar we've actually created inside there so that's gonna be our current picture so right after that we actually may want to create a decoration inside that blue background and uh, for that we're gonna actually add a decoration so when i decoration we're gonna add box decoration all right so inside box decoration we're gonna add some property all right so we're gonna add some decoration so inside those brackets we're gonna actually click enter on our keyboard so we're gonna create some color we're gonna create a color accent change that blue to pink so we're gonna type in color then we're gonna type in colors dot then we're gonna change that actually pink so that we change that blue background to pink a pink accent color that's actually what i want to click ctrl s to actually do a hot reload and you actually see it changes to pink so we're gonna add a background uh, image so inside there I actually have some image so we're gonna type in image decoration image so I actually have some image asset that i do already uh, put in the images folder so it's gonna be this background i've called it back.jpg so inside there we're gonna type in the image stroke back.jpg then click save and there we go we actually have it and click the hot reload click all right just give it a second it actually load all right there we go so next one actually have it fitting because it actually doesn't look neat that way so we're gonna do a fitting uh, mechanism so we're gonna type in fit okay so inside fit we're gonna type in box box fit all right so we actually want it box fit dot cover click ctrl s on your keyboard and there we go it should actually fit properly all right so next one i get rid of that gray space at the very top you can actually see it up there and we actually don't want that it actually doesn't look neat so actually want to find a way of actually getting rid of that because we actually want the background image to actually fill in all that space so what do we do we're just gonna go to the very top then uh inside list view so we're gonna make some changes so inside list view we're gonna add some padding so we're gonna set that padding to edge insets they're gonna set that to zero edge insets dot zero and that should actually do the trick all right so there we go we're gonna scroll to the bottom okay so there we go we actually have it we actually filled the entire background and that's actually what we wanted so actually we're gonna scroll to the bottom then now we actually want to add another child into the list so right below that under user account 
the creator we're going to actually add another child so the next child is actually going to be a list view so just type in list view actually list file so inside list file we're going to create an item so we're going to type in leading to actually have the icon so we're going to call it icon.file.upload and there we go it has actually appeared then we're going to type in the title so they're going to type in the text as upload short and there we go we actually have it there and then next we want to have an action that happens when the user actually clicks on it so actually we're going to set on tap Gonna add an action so gonna make sure it actually prints the text upload tapped so gonna hot reload and then when it's actually clicks on that when it's actually clicks on that you can actually see what happened it actually says upload tapped okay so gonna duplicate that and uh, we're gonna create some other items okay so gonna go to the next end we're gonna duplicate that by clicking control all right so there we go we'll duplicate the different items then we're gonna change uh all the titles so actually we're gonna have a total of up to eight items so we're gonna change the titles into different file names and uh these are actually gonna be very useful so we're gonna have a line axis for stats we're gonna have a share icon we're gonna have a notifications icon we're gonna have a settings icon then we'll actually to also have one for logging out all right so when user actually clicks on uh so this is it it's actually done when it actually clicks on an icon you can actually see that it actually each one actually prints depending actually what we set right next to it and that's actually uh, more lively that actually gives more life to actually what we have actually just created and that's actually all right so actually want to get rid of the blue error so what we do is going to type constants wherever we actually have that blue error and that should actually fix it very quickly it's just a matter of changing that to constants okay so next one actually create a divider Right below the settings and the and the logout, it actually looks more neat. So that there's actually a kind of divide division. So when I actually click divider and click hot reload, you can actually see there's a space that actually is created right below there, and that's actually what we wanted. All right, and there we go. We can actually play with it. Just click it, allow it to open. So it's actually that the background image takes some time to load, but uh, it actually works. All right, I hope this video really helped. If it did, feel free to join the community by subscribing. Then feel free to leave a thumbs up on the video. And then tell me below in the comments if the video really helped you. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.